Welcome back to this Let's Play of King's Bounty Warriors of the North. So off camera I made a few changes to our army. As you know we're now in Darien all of a sudden in Green War and we uh, had no soldiers. So off camera I bought a few items. I swapped this out for this sword here that they sold at at the uh, at the castle here. Gave me plus three to attack which is pretty much the same as this hammer I had, and unfortunately the hammer gave me plus three to attack of all Vikings, and we have no Vikings in our armor anymore, so that's that's useless. So, this gives a plus three to attack of swordsmen and guard. Oh, it says guards, but I'm assuming guardsmen is what it means. Either way, I put both of those in our army, so that should be good. I also swapped out, I noticed we had this uh, ogre's belt for plus four defense sitting in our uh, backpack. And the thing we had on previously was this which was just plus one to attack and 100 leadership. So I think the defense is going to help us a little better, so I swapped that out. And the only other thing I swapped out was our shield. Because it's the same thing, it gave plus three defense, which is good. And the bonus defense it was giving to our warrior maidens is useless, and we don't have any horsemen. So in the future, it could be good. Right now, not so good. This new shield I got only gives plus two defense to creatures under level three, but it gave a much bigger bonus, plus five to creatures level three and above and if you look at the soldiers i got uh the pyromages are above level three the guardsmen are exactly level three so they'll get that bonus and the archimages are also level four so they'll get the bonus and these guys will get the smaller bonus uh, the commander has a, an ability that gives a, a morale bonus to the bowmen and the swordsmen so i left both of those together and i initially was going to hire some griffins but adding the griffins to the, your army actually reduced their morale. Um, so currently, if we go over to their thing, you can see you get a plus one to morale from all troops of the same race. So if we add in the griffins, who are considered neutral, because like animals are in the neutral group, um, I lose the morale bonus, which I didn't really want to lose. So I swapped them out and got the, uh, what are they, archmages here. I was planning to not have them and have the griffins. But that didn't that didn't really work out. I'd rather have the uh, morale bonus because everybody's positive and both of these guys have good morale. So, and then reserves I got uh, bowmen and the swordsmen because they're both pretty low on hit points. So I expect to lose a good amount of them, especially because now we don't have warrior maidens. We don't really have anybody to resurrect anybody at all if we lose people. So hopefully having three groups of range units. We can kind of sit back, blast people, and let these guys rush up and kill people. As, a, you know, with good timing, hopefully it'll all work out. But I could be wrong. And something else, as I was just talking, I realized we leveled up last time, and I did not select. Hmm. I did not use up our abilities. What should we use up here? Um, this is destruction of items. I don't really care about any of those. Um, oh, and you know what? Oh, wow, all my things are flooding back to me from the previous video. When we leveled up Hilda's arrows, let's see. If the attack destroys an enemy troop, the body dissolves in its place, energy clusters form. Oh, that's what, because the level up, When, if you remember from our previous video, when we leveled up Hilda's arrows, it increased the mana and rage we would gain. I see. So that just ha I don't even think that's happened before because the unfortunately the arrows are random, so we can't really control them killing somebody. So that's just yeah, okay, it'll happen, I guess, if it happens. Um let's not look at magic just yet. We could get tactics. Could be useful. But I kinda want Glory's just, hey, I don't know if I want that or not. This one has, this is like a Thorns Aura? Probably returning 10% damage. 10% incurred by an enemy warrior. So I think it's like a Thorns Aura. Reserve I don't want. That's the thing, I don't know if I'm really going to go down a lot of these trees. This one's nice. Chance of allies inflicting a critical hit plus 3%. I like this one. So this one we may take in a moment. Um, that's the thing too, we have to consider if, oh, I don't know how long we're going to be stuck on human troops. I don't want to select things that potentially could, uh, you know, be good for Viking units that I don't have now. Probability of losing a negative effect. 
chance of critical hit with rage skills. Hmm. Chance to inflict double damage. That, that one's pretty nice. 10% chance, actually. What's absolute rage? Oh, that one just gives you all kinds of bonuses if you get hit, pretty much. Hmm. Like they just lose it. The shield of rage is pretty nice. Chance of just losing a negative effect is always nice. Um, I think I'm going to take this one. Chance to inflict double damage, though, is just... That's excellent. Um, We still could take sense weakness. Let's take that, too. Give everybody an extra 3% chance for a crit. Um, and any magic skills? It doesn't look like it right now. Uh, yeah, no, that's not that's not good enough. Plus two to intellect. Intellect's not our most important stat. Boosting order magic up might be nice, which we can do in the future. So we'll just stick with what we have. I think let's let's wander out a little bit. Oh, you know what I wanted to see though? How strong these troops are considered. Equal in strength. Okay, I'm like hopefully they're not too strong. Now the question is, which way do I want to go? Is it like legend? Where they take you to the... I can't see any of them. Let's see where they're going to take you. Each direction in Legend takes you to a different area, so... Alright, well, let's just go this way. We can go... Wait, can we kill this guy too? Deadly? Oh, gosh! Okay, well, let's flee this guy, because this is deadly. Is it really deadly? Must just be a lot of them. I mean, I realize I've probably, well, probably saved recently. I probably should just hit a quick save here. <laughs> be on the save side, because uh, that guy apparently can kick my butt. I think we can go, oh, well, I was going to say, we can probably go down and kill the uh, skeleton, at least, once the vampire bats go on their way. Because they may not be, because like we've talked about before, I have the hero still, which, you know, gives me an advantage in battles. The the game doesn't really calculate, but, you know. Plagued. Lovely. Caused by something? Oh, yes. Necromancers went first and cast Plague. Oh, so our initiative is very low also. Because, yeah, the Necromancers went first. Ugh, I'm, gonna have to re I'm just going to have to relearn a whole new army. Rune? Oh, he has a rune, luck rune, huh? That's something, too, I hadn't thought about. But, yeah, I guess you don't really have any of the runes, either. Hmm. Um, let's see, we have Telekinesis, Magic Shield, and Fighting Trance. It's Fighting Trance, I guess. Because Fighting Trance gives us 100% damage, 100% crit chance, 100% shock chance. And something to realize, too, is that when it says 100% of something, like 100% to critical damage, it doesn't mean I'm going to get a crit 100% of the time. It's effectively 100% means it's just going to double what our current crit chance is. So, like, I'm guessing our crit chance a moment ago was 13%. Now it's 26%, which is good. A zap. Um, and that's something, too, is that it looks like our units can all level up, and they're all rank 1, unfortunately, so... Um... Lob a, can I just lob a fireball at you? Pretty much, yeah. Here, have a fireball. By him. Um, I think if we free these guys, we'll get to use them. Oh, we could heal his arrows also. At least we didn't lose our rage abilities since we lost our whole army, unfortunately. Nice. But yeah, I might as well free these guys then and let them fight for us. Yeah, there's some random runes we have. I don't know why, though. Like, I've got a rune of attack on these guys, for instance. Okay, so we got some skeletons that I think should be fighting... For us. Can I get in range of these guys? No. If I do fire damage, will that? No. Set the necromancers on fire here. Um. Let's see. This is our last guy, right? Yeah. Let's just. All of nature. Add some additional units to just kind of keep them busy. I guess we can do Viking Vortex. 
for some free damage. And something I noticed all the human troops have is some kind of ability. It's called morale. Effectively, from reading it, they have a chance every round of getting a bonus to their initiative. So suddenly we could move to the... T our, our initiative could go above the enemies. So I'll have to keep that in mind, too. I would howl, but I don't think the howl affects undead so i'm not gonna waste my time doing that. i will block the archers so hopefully yeah they'll waste their turn punching me instead of shooting perfect good job wolves i look like all the human human units have that so that's nice oh that fire damage took out a bunch of zombies nice uh Magic lock. That's fine. Okay. I guess, sir. I guess there's no reason not to use the rune of luck if I can. Maybe he'll get an extra turn. Nice. Nuked them. Okay. Um. Friendly warrior. Oh, friendly warriors are provided with the flaming heart for three turns. The target's base damage increase is increased by adding twenty percent fire damage. And then a fire shield. The target. So could he cast this on like my warriors? Oh, he could. Does it affect? Shield blazes, sets ablaze those enemies that attack the target. Okay, so it doesn't affect friendly troops. It doesn't sound like. And this one gives them tw extra damage. Let me just try casting this on the archers and see here. Does that mean they're just going to do extra damage? It does use this turn up, though. That's why I was wondering, too, because some things like... Uh, who was it we had before? Uh, the Jarls did not use their turn when they used some of their abilities, which was nice. Uh, he can't really get there, so let's have him wait. How much do we need for... Gerda's rage, 21, okay. Um, he's pretty safe there. Let's move up. Yeah, let's continue to shoot the, uh, archers. Uh, I don't know if I want to move up, actually, because that's... The counterattack's going to be pretty rough there. Let's have him wait. Oh, especially because I can make these skeletons eat the counterattack. Ah, there we go. Mostly the skeletons are there just for what they're there for. Take some hits for me. Good job, skeletons. You're doing a great job. Let us now Gudrida's Rage on... Uh... Oh, that's right. Gudrida's Rage does not hit friendly targets. My skeletons will be fine as Flaming Death comes down. Very nice. Okay, so now we can attack them. Might as well Rune of Luck. Maybe get an extra turn in there. Uh, oh, he can just kill them. Perfect. All right, so far so good. Um, I can do Hilda's arrows. I might as well do that. Free damage. There's only three units left, so they'll all just get blasted. And the... I was going to say, the zombies are pretty slow, so let's sap the uh, archers. Oh. I morale enables the troop to increase its initiative. Oh, so that an that hmm that a chat that check for initiative to increase must happen on their turn. Hmm. Okay. Guess that's good to keep in mind. Uh, let's see if we can just nuke the rest of these guys. Yes, we can. Okay. Um. Let's rune of attack. I'm not sure why we have some of the runes, but we do. Oh, see, his initiative just went up also. Very nice. 
I as well use a rune of attack. I mean, if they're going to let me. I'm not sure if that's a glitch or what. I'm not sure why. Because I don't think our guys should have runes. Uh, sure. Let's just kill off one stack completely. Um. Let's just have him defend and hope he absorbs the attack from the zombies. Perfect. That's excellent. So now our ranged guys will just batter the life out of the, or the unlife out of the zombies. I don't really want to lose anybody because we still want to get perfects to get the uh, medals. I was going to say we should be able to do it the right way and lose nobody. There we go. That went, that went well enough. Still a tough fight though, I feel like. Probably partially probably. Partially because, though, I'm not used to these units, so that's just going to be something I'll have to, I'm gonna have to adjust to. Oh, there's a rune over there. I get, how do I get over there? I'm afraid of getting ambushed. I should just save. I'm afraid of getting ambushed by, like, you know, like I said, those other ones were deadly. It's strong, huh? Oh, gosh. Mistakes are, oh, it's just weak. Okay, that's not, mistakes were not made. Mistakes were made by them. We've got 29 Rage Sill. Gudrida. Ilval. It's whatever the meme is. Call an ambulance, but not for me. Okay, battle rage these guys. Kill off the necromancers. Oh, the necromancers did not go first this time. Hey, Archmage is leveled up. Nice. Um, Fireball? Do I just... Hmm. Yeah, let's just focus on killing these guys. And also, does that decrease my chance of using the Rage of the Valkyries amulet? Because I have less, like, our army overall doesn't really have runes. I don't know. Oh, that's a really good question, though. Oh, what? You got one left? Oh, well, we're in good shape here, so I'll just go kill you. Excuse me. Uh, I gotta watch out for that. Uh, I cannot reach you. Um, kind of want to reach you though. Can I just haste you? Can. I have to use my spells a little more with these guys. I'm used to berserkers. I could just run in and start slashing everything to death. There we go. That's the ticket, men. Eh, well, we can good reach his rage again. Might as well. I guess I didn't look. What our Dude, I should have looked what our odds were of getting extra turns. Oh, wow. Well. Alright, well this this army's or these guys are just getting trashed. Did I uh, Oh yes. I was saying, hopefully we won't kill them and I can grab this treasure before we kill them. Get some free money. Not that we really need money, I think even though I had to buy all new troops and I bought a few items. I think we still had, uh, yeah, we still got 275,000, so we're in pretty good shape. I think there was a magic tower or something over here previously. I can't remember. Oh, there's a spirit rune. I can't remember exactly from, you know, the original game, because this layout seems familiar, like it probably is from the original game. Same layout. Uh, plus two mana is fine. What's that put us at now? 50 something? Yeah, 51. Uh, I should just keep saving probably after every fight just because. Oh, I got grab the spirit rune and run! Uh, oh, deadly. Magic rune. Wow. Finding a lot of runes. I gotta be extra careful though because everything's. Pretty much everything can kill me. 
Not everything, but there's a lot of stuff around that can kill me. At least according to the thing. We could just take a fight and see what happens, I suppose, but... Um, oh, there we go. Go into town here. Loot a few things. Get some free stuff. Probably get a quest. Oh, magic rune. Wow. There are a lot of runes lying around. I know that. Noticing that. Uh, oh, my goodness. What? Spirit rune? Magic rune? <laughs> so weird. There's so many lying. Oh, gosh. It's a trap. Uh, well, hopefully I can beat this many skeletons. <laughs> Actually, no. Um. Well, let's... Uh, a 51% chance of reusing it right now. That's not bad. Well, let's fighting trance and try to blast some of these uh, skeletons down right away. Fireball. And, uh... Probably not going to get enough damage out to get to Gudritas, so let's just do Hilda's arrows and blast some more guys. The more other oh, archers we can hit, the better. I think I'm going to have him just move up. And then I'm going to cast the Call of Nature just to get some troops out to hopefully keep them busy like we do most of the time. Um, I could hit this guy with I could hit him with a colder. Will that slow down and... Yes, it will, apparently. And the bowman leveled up. Lovely. Um, I guess I could move here and try to keep their bowman from even firing. I don't know if that's going to work, but it might. I'll move my guys up a little bit. Oh, well, I suppose that works. I was trying to keep one of the bowman stacks up busy. I just didn't expect it to be that one. Oh, Commander, look out. Thankfully, I'm right by the castle, so I can just go get more soldiers. Oh, I was worried about that. They're going to start teleporting everywhere. Now, luckily, we're right by the castle. We can rearm ourselves, assuming we survive this, because everyone's leveling up on the plus side. Because there are a lot of guys... Oh, that slow is not going to do me any good, because they're... Shoot. Slow is not going to do me any good, because they're all uh, just teleporting. Right. It won't hurt our guys. So let's just blast these guys. Oh, you can use you reuse rage skills. Excellent. Um, well, maybe depending on Lords of the North does good damp. Lords of the North does good damage, but it's only 49 or it costs 49. That's so expensive. Oh, well, that's problematic. Let's do another summon just to keep them busy nice nice the enemy will counter attack uh, what's his speed two just back up one and let him have a fireball in the face interesting humans have a pretty much way to boost their initiative bonus um well, since most of my abilities are on Cool down. Let's Viking Vortex. At least kill a few more of these guys. I'll get my melee units over there here in a minute. I'm gonna put these wolves over here. Go stand on the corpse of the last wolves we sent into battle. I might just be able to outright kill these guys. Yeah. I wonder if he's standing on it. It keeps them from teleporting. That'd be useful. I don't know if it does. I just thinking about it um let's shoot these guys i guess we need to try to get rid of some of them like i said when we get done with this fight we can easily go back to the castle and re-up perfect that's what we wanted to happen there good um oh he can't reach there well let's just charge we're gonna get our soldiers back when we're done. If we get roll high, we could technically kill them all. Oh, well, that's perfect. Pretty much decimated them. I mean, I guess technically we didn't decimate them, because that would mean we only killed 10% of them. 
by the technical term, but you know, you know what I meant. All right, now we'll just charge down all these skeletons and finish the job. Oh my gosh. We gained so much rage killing all those guys, though. Lords of the North, go! Oh, just nuked them. Uh, that wasn't too bad of losses, real, admittedly. A few guardsmen, a few pyromages to defeat 2,000 skeletons. Sheesh. Let's see, Hilda's arrows. Uh, I'm guessing that means it'll hit four targets. Goals. <laughs> For 11 rage. That seems good. Yeah, no, I'll, ta I'll take that. I don't use Krista's, Krista's gift that often. Admittedly. Let's grab this flag right here if we can. I was going to try to... Oh, excuse me. Peasant, I'll talk with you in a moment. Found a clay bowl. Lovely. Like, because of everything, I feel like stronger than me. Well, not in everything. I keep saying that, but there's a lot of units that are stronger than me. I prefer to keep my uh, numbers up. Wanted to see two. I was gonna say I might be able to do order magic. Yeah, I only need one one mind rune and I could get order magic. Wow. Talk to this peasant, Gorv. Yeah, greetings, traveler. You come visit our place at sad times. My son, my little one, my poor lost Don. How I live without you. Why? The farmer wipes his tears away with his sleeve. Uh, greetings. My name's Olaf. What on earth happened to you? Good day to you, Olaf. I am Gorv and Dawn. She was my favorite cow. Oh. How many years we lived side by side. How much we went through and suffered together. And now here is Gorv. All alone and no more Dawn. Wicked zombies tore her to bits right in front of my eyes. All those people that were killed in the village and you feel sorry for the cow. Sad for my neighbors. All drunken gossips. All jealous of my Dawn. But Dawn, do you know what her fur was like? And what big eyes she had? She looked at me and saw into my soul. And she mooed like she was singing a pretty song. And her milk tasted like the best thing ever. Uh, maybe I can help. Help? No, that's impossible. I'll never find another cow like Dawn. No, I can only think of revenge. I know who sent the zombies down to our village to kill my pretty cow. He is called Zervin, and he lives nearby. He is a black sorcerer. Only he could have made those zombies come. Uh, Alright, well, I'll find him. I like how the bottom one, though, is our guy pretty much going, A black sorcerer, a necromancer, I gotta go. But no, will help. Don't worry about it, uh, buddy. We'll, uh, deal with it. Let me see if I can grab this, uh... Ooh, wait, there's money over here. A trap. Nope, there's just a stack of money. I was expecting, like, you know, the undead to pop out of the ground and just start beating the tar out of me. For being dumb enough to, fa to fall for the old pile of gold trick. There's, admittedly, though, a lot of unguarded stuff around here. Two more mana. Wow. Vengeance for the cow. That's hilarious. Like, at least I feel like there's a lot of unguarded stuff. Equal in strength, huh? Um, What are you guarding? Magic Absorber. I think that'll give me a bonus to my intellect. What's over here? Scroll? Greasy Mist Scroll. Oh, speaking of scrolls... Hellbreath. Well, let me look at those, but I also got... What did I buy? Oh, I bought a Dragon Slayer spell when I was getting my troops off camera. So, we have that spell also. That could potentially be useful. Let's see. Greasy Mist. Spreads a cloud of oil across part of the battlefield. 
All enemies with level 1 through 4 lose effectiveness in their base ranged attacks and suffer intensive damage from fire attacks. Hmm. Could be useful since our fire mage likes to just throw fire around and it lowers range damage, which could be useful. Eh, let's learn it. Costs only 2. I mean, the truth is I've got 90. At this point, I can really afford it. I don't have any chaos spells, but, you know. Huh. Well, you know what? Looks like a good time to... Oh, what's this? There's a ghoul, level 20. Deadly. Definitely have a lot of deadly stuff around here. But I think it'll be a good time to stop today's video. Right here. And then next time, we'll continue to explore around Green War here. And, uh, you know. Hopefully we can get some stuff without getting killed. If you have any thoughts or comments or questions, let me know down below. If you're enjoying the series so far, make sure you hit that sub button so you'll know when I release new videos. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.